What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are at Overland Expo West. This is day two and already it is way busier than it was yesterday. But we are at our first stop here. This is Domelo Off-Road. I'm gonna show you guys the rigs, what they got going on. So I'm gonna flip this around and get going. All right, so this here is their booth. They have an older Lexus GX with their front bumper. Their sliders with some pretty cool filler plates. No rear bumper. Go check out the one next to it. This is the newer one. Same, no rear bumper. I don't know if these really need rear bumpers, but I don't know. I don't own a GX, but here's the wheels are on it, the icon, suspension. This is their front bumper here. With some KC lights. KC lights on top as well. These are their rock sliders. Same kind of filler plates over there, just color matched to the wheels. Let's check out, these are their sliders here. This must be their aluminum bumper, weighing in at 47, 43 pounds. That's pretty light, that's crazy. Let's check out the backside and see their gussets. Fully gusseted in the back, so it's just as strong. That's pretty cool. We might have to talk to these guys for sure. And then over here, they got a fifth gen forerunner with a dual swing out like I'm the most avid rider and unfortunately we can't squeeze around and get to the front there but yeah looking good I'll go chat with these guys real quick of course we gotta stop by Tacoma Beast's booth so this is his third gen Tacoma I'm sure you guys are familiar with it looks like he has the Magnuson supercharger and a bunch of cool other things but like I said I'm sure you're familiar with it so I'm not going to do too much with it. Next to him we have Expedition Essentials 3rd Gen Tacoma. So it looks like they got a solar panel on top, ARB front bumper and this full wrapped. Yep it sure is. Uh, you have in the rear yeah this is super nice all right so we are over at cbi off-roads booth they got their blue tacoma here with their low pro all the goodies on it prinzu of course if you guys didn't know cbi is with prinzu if they didn't make that very obvious and then oh yeah they do side-by-side -side racks now so you guys have a side-by-side -side. bed rack aluminum bumpers how's it going they got their tundra over here just their hybrid front bumper with the Bajas, rock sliders, bed rack. Let's go check out their rear bumper. This is the back. Their rear bumper. Top plate for some traction. I'm climbing in and out of the bed. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we are in another part of the event. A lot of Toyotas over here, so we're definitely going to show you guys all these. We got a 5th gen 4Runner with a C4 bumper with some wide body fender flares. It doesn't actually have long travel, but still looks cool. It just doesn't fill the gap in 
like it would if it actually had long travel. A little bright. There we go. So, C4 rear bumper as well, dual swing out. Front runner roof rack. TJM snorkel. Next to that, we got a third gen Tacoma. Pretty stock, it looks like. It has a bed rack, some sliders. Westcott roof rack. Next to that, we have another third gen. It would look like a little bar for the lights and just a little protection in the front. Westcott roof rack, bed rack. Yeah, this one actually has a rear bumper. I see it. So let's go take a look. Yep, sure does. A little bit rusty, but uh, still looks pretty good. We got more over here. Mount Off Road Enterprise. This is one of our new vendors. This is their Tundra here. I'll show you guys underneath. What's up, guys? Good. Is there skids here? <laughs> this here. It's probably my favorite thing that they make here. This is their compressor mount, also a tank mount, which. It's pretty awesome because nobody else is really doing that. Over here we have another third gen Tacoma in the army green. No bumpers, it does have a lift it looks like, but the main thing is gonna be this camper on the, on the back here. You saw it there it popped up. Pretty cool in there. And then we have Lightner over here. We just became a dealer of these guys too. Super cool rack. This is their forged rack. Make it brighter a little bit. What's up, bro? How's it going? Good. How you doing? Pretty good. Checking out the new hydro pod. Here's the present. Mm -hmm. So this is their new hydro pod here. The two smaller pods on the side of it. This is their XL, the large one over here. Everything is lockable. The only thing it does go into the bed a little bit, so you do lose a little bit of bed space, but not a lot. This one does have tunnel cover, or retracts on top. But if you didn't have that, you could still probably fit like a bike down the middle or something. We are over here at Westcott Designs booth. They got a lot of Toyotas over here. Third Gen Tacoma, rock sliders, their roof rack. This snorkel here. Looks like a go fast in the rear. This is their tire carrier here. This is like a Grill slash cooler carrier. Pretty interesting. They have their forerunner next to that. Supercharged. It has the roof rack on top here. And this is the new thing here. This is the heritage roof rack that they have that they made to fit the factory roof rack very cool I don't think anybody has done that so and it's the color match to the wheels next to that they have their FJ cruiser or somebody's FJ cruiser in their booth got some kings on there the roof rack rock sliders Magnuson Supercharger. It is long travel with camber as well. Alright, so this is something brand new that we are going to be showing you guys here. 
and they are just releasing it at the show. This is their tire carrier, and this thing is going to be super modular. So this is their pin to release the hinge so that way you can swing it open. And they're going to have a couple different ways you can actually attach your tire to the carrier. So this one here is attached using a strap. There's one point down there. The other point is going to be right up here. And then the same thing on the other side here. So this one is if you need to take it off really quick. So let's say you're, on a, you're going on a trail and you you know you might pop a tire or something. This would be a really good option to take it off right away. They are going to have a different version where you'll be able to bolt it in to the back plate. So that way you don't have to use straps if you would rather do it that way. And another thing you guys can see that it's on the side. So this one you can actually remove. If you wanted one to put on the left, you can basically do two tires or you can have one tire on the left or one tire on the right. And they're actually going to have one more where you can have it in the center. And the reason why they did it this way, so that way they made it more modular. So if you look here, this is how they have it mounted so that way you can put another hitch on the other side or another arm on the side here and then one on the back as well so that way you can mount. Um, they're going to do a high lift and then a couple other options over here and then you can still use the regular two inch hitch on the back. So pretty cool and another thing is that it's pretty solid. So it's no, there's no rattle, there's no noise so I really like it. So we will see when they release this we're going to see if we can get one because currently some of our vehicles don't have spares and it would be pretty nice just to know when we go on a trail that could potentially you know pop a tire we can have one of these on the back and that way we're ready to go and we have a couple of cool Toyotas over here got this Land Cruiser here with the ARB front bumper snorkel the off-road it's going thanks I appreciate that got sleeve rock sliders here and rhino rack roof rack dual swing out bumper and a goose gear drawer system yeah this thing is badass next to that is Icon's vehicles. We got a Tacoma and a Tundra here. Tundra has pretty nice hood, but besides that, I think it's pretty, pretty normal. We got the Icon suspension, SDHQ rock sliders, a couple tire carriers in the back, Sturgeon. Tacoma's the same way. We got a rear bumper though. Got a tire carrier in the back. Got a wide body fender flares. SHQ sliders. Fenders in the front as well. And obviously the suspension is Icon. KC lights on top. This is their big booth, which is also a semi. That's pretty awesome. So we're at Camberg's booth. We really like their stuff because that's what we're running on our FJ Cruiser. They have a third gen on display here. I think this is their new two inch long travel rear lowers. What's up, man? 